I recorded a video about reincarnation. And um, I think I'm coming, I'm coming from those lands. I'm a Highlander. I don't know if in, in, in Ireland those lands are called Highland Highlands, but at least in the UK it's called like that, like the Scottish north north part of of, of the UK is called the no, the Highlands. Um, sorry for the Irish people, um, because I don't know how how is that called how, how those lands are called of there in in, I, in Ireland, but I just know I just love that music. I loved it. I've got to research about the instruments, but I really love it. So, why am I playing this? Okay, so the story starts like this. Um, my dad has a, um, has a friend, who's called Glenn Kennan. Uh, oh, first of all, the, the band is called The Chieftains. Like this. And, um... Once we went uh, to his apartment to have a dinner and to have like a sort of party, a small gathering, <laughs> and um, he were, he invited some Irish friend Irish friends, and um, again I, I I talked to the ladies I I talked I mean there were like ten Irish people, uh, but then I I finished talking to the girls because I started to dance salsa with them. And they were like, my gosh, Bessin, you really, you, I, we love the way you dance. Where did you learn to learn to dance? Where, I mean, you're so young, and how, how did you dance that well? <laughs> Things that I'm quite highly like dancing. And um, I love salsa as well. So I just started dancing with, with them, and then we just end up talking and talking and talking English. I didn't know how I managed to do it because I was like, again, I was like in sixth grade, I was like in the first grades of, of um, high school, so that would be like, I don't know how I was, I was like 11 years, 11 years, <laughs> I was, I was very little, I was really young and uh, I don't know how I did that, but I remember there was, there were like, Mm, two hours at least that we talk and talk and talk and dance and dance and dance. We moved the furniture um, and uh, it became like a, a, a dance hall and we loved it and I loved it and I loved Irish culture as well as, as British culture. And um, yeah, so why am I telling you this? Well, because mm, it, 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 it has to do with the next topic which is I uh, exposed, exposed myself to an English environment. Well, I try to do as, as I try to do daily, like in my daily life, in my normal life, in my ordinary days. I wake up and I, um, I listen to music English. I, I, I look for, I look for um, British um, YouTube channels. Uh, British people YouTube channels like British British YouTubers or American YouTubers. Mm, I also use I used to read like um, newspaper on on internet. Um, but yeah, I mean that was part of of surrounding yourself with a bilingual uh, environment. Um, and so I talked to them. They were native, obviously, because they were from, uh, they were from Ireland and. Um, I talked two hours with them, to them, and uh, that was lovely. That was lovely because I, I mean, I, I, the very next day I thought like, hey, how, how did I do that? I guess that I did that like really wrong. Like I spoke absolutely broken English, but at least I did it. And I don't remember they, them telling me like they telling me like I don't understand or or some sort of a gap in the middle of the conversation, um, which is it was really fluent. And I was not drinking, I was not, I was really young, I couldn't drink. <laughs> uh, but it's not something that I imagined, I mean, it was something real. And, 
it was really good. It was really nice. I, I really that's a really good memory that I have. So if you don't know I had, you're gonna say thing, I, I don't know, I don't have no one like around like native like native people around me. Just research on the, on the internet. Or just go to Cambly or just go to italki or just go to there are plenty of apps where you can download and practice with with native people. Um, so moving forward, uh, I forced myself to speak even if I made mistakes. And sometimes since it's not our, our like since it's not my my native language, like we 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 we, we tend to sometimes like make some mistakes, make some mistakes. And that's natural. I mean, that's something that we are, well, while, while we are learning something, we will always, like, make some little mistakes or huge mistakes. But it doesn't matter. I mean, making mistakes is part of a learning path. And it's completely natural. And I just did it. I mean, that was something I did. I mean, I just plunged into the pool, like, I'm going to do it. Um, no matter if there was somebody like criticize me, criticizing me, I mean, I haven't, I haven't criticized my whole life, like, come on. But, um, I just did it, I mean, so as I told you, I just right, raised my hand and, and I told, and I asked my teacher whatever I wanted to, like, Teacher, can I go to the bathroom, please? And I felt really proud of myself, because I was already speaking English. And, um, yeah, so, well, Part of these videos is like doing that, like practicing, like forcing me to practice English, pra like uh, communicate myself in English. And uh, yeah, I want to tell you that, I mean, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Just let go of fear. Just do as you will like. Do whatever you want to do, as long as you force yourself, as long as you, yeah, it's something you have, you've got to do, like, Force your brain to think. Force your brain to use the language to to basically basically yeah, it's like using the language. And um, I know it's not that easy. I know because I mean yes, you can say like hey, it's best and it's, it's, it looks like it was quite easy for you. At the very beginning, it was not easy. As I told you, I had two demons, two unfi unfitted, and um, two and um, yeah. Remember, you see, I, I, it's hard for me to pronounce sometimes some words. Um, maths and English. I left maths, <laughs> like, I quit maths, I was like, I, I will never be, like, good at maths. <laughs> because I don't want, like, it's, it's something that I don't find useful. And, um, this is something like, 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 yeah, you can also say, like, hey, ma hey, Sebastian, but I think that, the same happened to me. I mean, I am not, I'm, I'm not motivated at all, like to learn English, and it's cool. I mean, it's okay if you don't have like any reason. It's okay, absolutely okay if you don't have a reason. You can just use translator, or you can just, I don't know. If you, if you're not interested, definitely like you, you, you want to, you, you don't want to try it. You don't want to like do it because, or if you perhaps you just live like an, a hard real experience and you do want to, and you just don't want to think about it to remember that bad experience mm, I, ac I absolutely understand but if for some reason you see yourself like I need to I must to I must I must I must I must learn English find your own motivations find what you like find what what are your preferences what is your favorite music find, find what's what is it that you like to talk about if you like for example if you like watching news or if you like fashion or if you like um, I don't know whatever, whatever gastronomy architecture try to deepen into those topics and by doing that at least you will be learned about something related to what you what you are to, to your passions to something that you really want to learn, like, hey, I, I, I'm an architect, I am an architect, I, again, I am an architecture, 
but I don't know how to say house in, 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 in English, or I don't know how to say medidas, or I don't know how to planos, or I don't know how to say planos in English as well, <laughs> either. But it's something that you just have to practice, and, and, and how do you take that first step just by trying to research about something that you are really interested in? Let's say I love, I don't know, I, I have, okay, so let's say some, let's say a word in, in Spanish that I like, I like. That's gotta be a word in Spanish I love. I like osmosis, 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 I like that, I like that word, I like, uh, I remember once I played with a girl, I played, um, just saying, saying random words, and and try to think if they were like, like, uh, like rounded uh, words. It's hard to understand, but let's say, um, does it sound round? Uh, the word guitar or or guitarra, guitarra to me doesn't sound round, rounded at all. For example, a word that could sound rounded would be like. Majestuoso, majestuoso, majestuoso. I like that word as well, majestuoso. It kind of, it, it's not like circular, it's not quite circular, it's not quite, quite rounded, but it's kind of oval. It's like a majestuoso, but it's like it can fit into a into a sphere. It can be. It might. It might um, fit. So, just play with the language. Basically, just play with language. Whenever you, whenever you want to do. It. Let's say you want to write a poem. Do it. Do it. Whether it's in Spanish or English. I'm first in Spanish, and then you translate. Then you translate it. Cool, just do it. I mean, just do it. I listen to, to music and then I translate. That's that's like the more, one of the most common tasks that that we can do to 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 improve our English, our English or to get into English if you're not really interested. Music is key. is a key thing. I mean, tell me if it's not. So. Make a list of words. I made a list of words I liked. So many words. I couldn't tell. I can't. I cannot tell you in this moment what words I, I, um, I wrote, because they're like endless lists of words and words and words and words. Actually, I nowadays. I mean, I'm still using that method, like, like writing words that I like, that I like. It doesn't matter if you don't use it at all. But it will enhance your your English, your pronunciation. It will it will at least push you to learn English or motivate you to learn English. Can you see the song that reflects on my in my room? Can see can you see the sun shining in my room? And I was uh, <laughs> and it ruined the shot. But well, anyways, I'm about to finish. Don't go. Because otherwise you won't be as bilingual as you could be. I know you can do it. Teach what you have learned. This is something that I'm going to dedicate, like a, um, a video, a video about this. Like teaching what you have learned. It's something that I think is one of the best um, things you could do, the best um, 
methods that you can that you can apply if you want to become bilingual or if I mean this I think that this applies to to whatever whatever thing you want to learn like if you want to learn about science about whatever you want to learn try to retell what you have learned even even if it's to in front of a mirror like um, let's say I learned how to say um, wonderful I, I just I don't know just talk about something you loved let's say you, you saw a movie and and you just would like to 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 know more about the, the plot to know more about the, um, the actors or the act or or the, um, I don't know whatever but you can use that method like teach retell what you have learned retell something that Mm, this is kind of being like a little bit, <laughs> a little bit mad, like the mad of of, of the language. But it it's so it, it it's kind of, it's kind of like that. It's like we all be, we all become like a little bit crazy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Being crazy is good in this case. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be posting videos. I haven't, I haven't set up like a certain schedule, but um, I'll be doing like, like frequently. I mean, it's not, it's, it's something that I've been enjoying. If you like, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell. I've learned that when you hit the bell. It let you know that that when you hit the bell, that let you know whenever I post a new video, and it will um, hit directly, and it will be showing directly on your notifications, um, <laughs> and that will be taking over your cell phone and over your life. I'm just joking.